Well, in 2013, Superman was a three-year-old, and he started showing up on our camera on a food plot, and, you know, we ended up finding his shed later that winter. You know, in August of 2014 was the first time we got Superman on a camera that year. He'd probably put on somewhere between 30 and 40 inches from the previous year. In 2015, we couldn't find Superman. We had five cameras on the farm. Until the middle of October, one day Mark decided to go down, put out four bags of 4S straw, and literally the next night, Superman showed up on the camera eating 4S straw. Well, we had a hunter, Luke Cousins, come into camp, and he was hunting the farm where Superman lived, and here's how the story goes. Uh, this all started uh, two years ago, or actually last year, I came out here and met Mark and saw his organization and saw how professional they are, and um, I'm a big hunter. I like to hunt, and I only like to kill big, mature deer. I've hunted all over, and really I'm looking for a special deer, and I saw what great organization he had. So I decided I booked a hunt for this year, and um, early in October, Mark sent me pictures of this big deer that they nicknamed Superman, who I looked at the pictures and can tell he was way over 200 and decided that that was the deer I wanted to target. I'd come out and pass up any other deer just to get a shot at that big deer. So that night I got all my stuff out. I got my lethal out ready for my scent protection. Got two bags of 4S draw because I knew I needed it to draw in the does. And so we got out there real early, uh, got dressed in the dark, in the cold, uh, sprayed down heavy with my lethal, carried another bottle with me to the stand, walked into the stand at least an hour before daylight, slipped out there, poured two bags of 4S draw uh, upwind from me, so that the scent would carry the uh, forest draw down wind, hopefully to draw a hot doe in there. Uh, the sun came up, I saw one small buck at about daylight, didn't see another deer till about 8.30. The winds were really whipping about 35 miles an hour. And I didn't see another deer until about 2.30. And it was a real nice three and a half year old, about a mid 150s 10 pointer, typical of what Mark uh, grows here. And then at about 3.30, I saw another small eight point but then at about 419, the wind died down, and I noticed behind me, I was hunting on a big draw, a big CRP field to my right, and there was a planted wheat field behind me. I heard movement, and I noticed a deer was coming. I can tell he was a buck, but a big buck, but I couldn't tell the antlers. So I stood up and got ready, and I only had one shooting lane to my left that went down to a creek. And I heard the deer it was a big deep ditch and I heard the deer run down into the ditch and heard a bunch of leaves rustling, but I couldn't see them because the ditch was about 10 feet deep. And so I was sitting there just wait, couldn't tell which direction they were because of the sound. And all of a sudden I looked to my left and a doe popped up just like she jumped up on an elevator and she stood up out of that draw. Her ears laid back and her tail went up and I knew exactly what that meant, that she was a doe in heat. The doe came walking about a 45 degree angle, came walking straight up there. She, I know she smelled the forest draw because it just drew her kind of in front of me and she walked out that way. Then all of a sudden I saw a deer come up out of there and he had antlers but it was so thick I couldn't tell, I knew he was a big deer but I couldn't tell what he had. And when he turned his head all I could see was big drop times. I knew right away that was Superman. And so I got ready and I thought that he would come through the shooting lane but because that doe came up there right in front of me and the whole time the wind was blowing, it was okay, but it was kind of bad, but I know that the lethal helped me out because they didn't smell me. That big giant, big six and a half year old drop, double drop time walked eight yards to me, stood right there and was just watching the doe walk out there to eat the forest draw. And then I couldn't draw because he was standing right under me. And immediately he looked at her looked to the left, took two steps, and I drew and drilled him right at 11 yards. We were waiting on this day for a long time. We're going to pick up old Superman. We had him for four years, and old Luke Cousins, a good hunter, got him down tonight. So uh, nah, this is just like Christmas, man. Superman is down. All right, this is, that's the man right there. That's the killer. I'll sure put this man on him because I know he'd get the job done. That's right. And he did. Well, big congratulations goes out to Luke Cousins on killing Superman. 
Superman was truly a legend down here at Midwest Whitetail Adventures. And, you know, we're hoping he spread his genes. Hopefully in a couple years, there'll be a little Superman running all over the place down here. So, tell you what, great buck, great story. As you can tell, Superman was a little broke up when Luke shot him. He had a little bit of his main beam broke, a couple times snapped off. But we were able to take the rack, take the trail camera pictures of him over to Spring Creek Taxidermy, Missouri. Have John Dittmer fix him up. He ended up scoring 220 inches. Ended up being the biggest stroke scoring buck in Midwest Whitetail history. So I have to say, this is a buck of a lifetime. I don't think I'd ever uh, see a deer this big. And I have to say, a big super thanks to uh, Mark and his organization of Midwest Whitetail Adventures. It wouldn't be possible without their help. And I have to tell you, I've hunted all over. Hunted some of the best properties, best uh, outfitters there is in the country and in the world. And uh, by far, Mark and his organization is the top. They're five star. Their lodge is five star. Their whole staff is professional. The properties they have are.